Hello everyone, welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and today I'm going to be doing another review video and today I'm here to be taking a look at the Humber Centenary Year Limited Edition Terrier Merton <laughs> Now this model has been out for a few months and this model has been released as part of Hornby's centenary year. Now I'd, the reason I didn't buy this model before until now is because I didn't plan originally to buy this model. It's only been in the last few days prior to filming this video that I decided to treat myself to this model because I have been meaning to get the A1 Terrier. I already have an A1X from Rails of Sheffield which is made by Dapple and I've also got the A1X with the Isle of Wight extended bunker which is a Hornby model and I have been meaning to get the A1 and because I don't have the A1 Terrier I decided to go for this model because I don't have any of the Centenary Limited Editions that Hornby have brought out this year so I thought it would be nice to have one of the Centenary Year limited edition models so I went for this one so I'm not going to be beating about the bush any longer with this model we're going to get it unboxed and then in a new style of reviewing I'm going to be taking this model over to the layout where I'm going to be taking a look at this model in performance and detail So the model has been unboxed and here it is on the layout and I have to say this really is a beautiful little model. As it's a limited edition it does come with a certificate. This is limited of a thousand and if anybody is interested this is number 646. We now move on to the model itself and I should also point out at this point to have already fitted the details from the accessory bag and a hook coupling on this model. But anyway, so out straight out of the box, this model is what you expect it to be. Its running performance is top notch. It runs smoothly in both directions, which is good, because the last thing you want is to get this model on the layout and find that it doesn't work or that it's faulty. The detail on this model is superb. There's a wealth of separately fitted detail parts on the model. We have separately fitted smoke box door darts and they've been painted a very nice chrome colour as have the smoke box door hinges. We've also got a separately fitted handrail there on top of the smoke box door that's been painted in a nice chrome colour as well. And we've also got separately fitted lamp irons on this model as well which I am going to be painting to pick out the detail and bring them out a bit more. The chimney cap on this model is painted a brass colour now it isn't made out of turned brass, it's just painted on. It would have been nice if it had been something so that it looked like it had been made out of brass or even copper instead of just being painted, but never mind, the beggars can't be the choosers. We have some very nice unsprung metal buffers and I do like the chrome finish on them. And also the printing on the buffer beam there really is quite nice. We now move on to the livery application, which is stunning. There are no imperfections in the livery anywhere at all. It's a very nice even coat of paint. And I really do like the Stroudly Improved Engine Green livery. I think it suits the locomotive really rather well. And even the lining on this model, on the boiler bands, on the water tanks, even right down to the sandboxes and wheel arches and everywhere else where the lining is it's all crisply done and there are no errors in the printing either even the printed name there the locomotive's name Merton and the number plaque which is printed on 
the printing quality on this is second to none. We've got some steam piping on the model, and that's been painted. And we've also got some pipe work there on the boiler, separately fitted. This model has separately fitted handrails there on the boiler. And even the handrails there and the cab have been separately applied as well. The cab windows have got glazing in them. And I do quite like how they've painted the outside of the rims there, which looks really nice. We've also got the safety valves on the whistle there, separately applied. There are some holes in the front of the cab, as you can see, because the cab that's been used is made for the A1X. And so all those holes are where the detail parts on the A1X would go. But I'm not fussed about that, because when this model is running, you won't really notice those anyway. The cab interior detail has all been painted. I mean, just take a look at that. You've got the gauges, the regulator, the dials, etc. It's all been painted and it looks superb. Always a nice bit of detail, that, to see it all painted in there. And the inside of the cab interior has been painted in a very nice cream colour as well. The cab floor has also been painted as well, and it really does look nice. Moving to the rear of the loco, you can see we have glazing in the rear cab windows. Again, the window portals. They've all been picked out and painted. You can also see the rivet detail on the rear of the cab as well. And again, we have unsprung metal buffers, separately fitted lamp points, and we also have a pre-fitted brake pipe, or vacuum pipe, however you choose to call it. On the other side, we have a Stirling steam reverser. That's been separately fitted. So overall then, the Hornby Centenary Year Limited Edition Terrier Merton is a great little model. I highly recommend the Hornby Terriers because they're great models. I've not had any problems with this model whatsoever. And if you're a collector of Terriers, highly recommend this model, or any of the Hornby Terriers for that matter. And if you're especially collecting the Hornby Centenary Year Limited Edition models, then again, this model is well worth getting. It is cheaper than the Rail Stroke Dapple offering, but that certainly does not make it a low quality or budget model, because it isn't. It is exquisitely detailed. This model, it is slightly more expensive, priced at £104, but then it is a limited edition at the end of the day. It's produced in limited quantities, therefore it's going to be a bit more expensive. But, you get what you pay for, you get your money's worth out of this. And I've not had any problems with it, so I'm rather happy with it. And it goes well, I think, with my other Hornby Terrier, Carrisbrook, with the Isle of Wight Extended Bunker. Because at the moment, my other Terrier, which is one of the Rails Stroke Dapple Terriers, has actually had to be sent back for a replacement. So hopefully the replacement will be will be a better model and there will be a video on that. So I'm going to finish the video now with a running session of both of my Hornby Terriers. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will enjoy this new format of review videos because this is the format I shall be doing them in from now on. So please leave me a comment if you wish to do so. Don't forget to subscribe smash the like button, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you again next time. But until then, stay safe and take care. ta -ra.